Well, hello there, my friends. <clears throat> I've got some cutting edge information on those of you that are struggling with Candida. Uh, and the big news, big news, like big news, the big myth, sugar. That's right, everybody tries to tell you to avoid all types of sugar no matter what. Avoid sugar, the Candida diet, no sugar, no sugar, no sugar ever! And that was one of my things too. I was always promoting that, no sugar, no sugar, no sugar. Well, we now know that's probably the worst advice and information we've been given so far when dealing with Candida. Why? And we're not talking about refined sugars here. Of course, refined sugar is bad, period. That is bad. And that does feed Candida like unbelievable. We're not talking about that because that's like steroids for the Candida. What we are talking about is getting your sugars naturally from the foods that you eat, like fruit. If you're eating natural fruit sugars, that's good. That's really good, even if you are on a candida diet. Let me explain. You see, the candida needs a few things to survive. Magnesium, believe it or not, is one of them. And sugar is the other. Starches, carbohydrates. And grain, it loves grain. And the reason why it loves grains so much is because the grains actually inflame and irritate sort of almonds the intestinal lining and that allows the candidas to spread and work its way into your fleshy tissue now the reason why fruit from berries especially berries strawberries are the best and things like that are so absolutely fantastic is because candida has to have sugar to survive, right? That's why they tell you to avoid it. They know that. Scientifically speaking, you put it in a Petri dish, if you don't give it sugar, it shrivels up and dies. But a Petri dish is not a human body. A Petri dish is made out of plastic. A Petri dish is not made out of fleshy tissue. So what will happen if you deprive something from its main food source is it will look for other ways to get that food. Yeah. So if you're depriving candida of magnesium, of sugars, and so forth, you can deprive it of starches though. You can deprive it of starches, that's important. Starches and grains you do want to eliminate during the healing process in the beginning of your candida cleanse. But if you deprive it of sugar and magnesium, then it's gonna have to reach to other areas of the body and that means it's going to dig into that flesh tissue and it becomes systemic. That's where candida becomes a serious, serious issue, especially for people who are suffering from things like brain fog, digestive issues, swinging back and forth from diarrhea to constipation. Those are all the symptoms of systemic candida. That means that you're trying really hard to kick it. And unfortunately, instead of kicking it, the advice you're being given is causing it to leach into other parts of your body and spread around searching for what it needs to survive. You've got sugar in your body. You need it to exist. So it's going to find it. It's going to leach out and find it. So it's best to make sure that you're consuming some high quality sugars, especially those that come from berries like blueberries and strawberries. Strawberries is one of the lowest sugar content fruits. Of course, all of these things, you know, you want to eat them when they're fresh. You don't want to get them when they start to rot because that's when the sugars start to convert over into the bad sugars. Banana is a perfect example of that. You know, a banana is actually a fantastic thing during the candida diet and everybody tells you it's the worst. Now, it's gotta be as green as Kermit the Frog though. The greener it is, the less sugar it has. It becomes what we call a resistant starch. And resistant starches, along with probiotics, create a prebiotic environment that allows you to kick the candida's buttocks to creating the proper bacteria. So that's what I've got for today. It's a good four minutes and 25 seconds. I hope this helps. Remember, do not eliminate sugars from your diet completely when it comes to fruits and berries, or you will make the candida evolve and transform into its worst stage, creating systemic candida, which is extremely destructive on the human body and life-threatening. Have a good day.